For years, headlines, viral videos, and even blockbuster movies have told the same story. Yellowstone is a ticking time bomb that one day soon, the ground will crack open, a giant ash cloud will rise, and life as we know it will change forever. Some say it's overdue. Others claim it could erupt tomorrow. But here's the truth. The science tells a very different story. Yellowstone is powerful, yes, active, absolutely. But the idea that it's on the verge of wiping out half the planet? That's not what the data shows. Today, we're going behind the fear, behind the hype, and into the real geology of Yellowstone to separate the facts from the myths and reveal the actual risks this incredible place poses to our world. The supervolcano hype machine Yellowstone has become one of the most misunderstood natural wonders on Earth, not because of the science, but because of the stories told about it. Headlines warn of a ticking time bomb. Viral videos claim it's overdue for a super eruption that could end civilization. Hollywood has even turned it into the ultimate disaster movie plot, showing giant craters, collapsing cities, and a sky choked with ash. And the truth is, those images stick. They're dramatic, they're shareable, but they're also incredibly misleading. Because while Yellowstone has erupted in the past, and on a scale that's hard to imagine, that doesn't mean it's going to erupt tomorrow, or even in our lifetime. So before we dive into the real risks, let's strip away the fear and get down to what Yellowstone actually is, and what the science really says about its future. The Real Geology of Yellowstone When most people picture a volcano, they imagine a steep mountain, like Mount Fuji or Mount Saint, Helens, with a crater at the top. Yellowstone is nothing like that. It's a caldera, a massive, bowl shaped depression left behind after a colossal eruption over 600,000 years ago. That eruption was so powerful, it collapsed the ground into a giant scar that now spans roughly 45 miles across. Today, when you walk through Yellowstone, you don't see a towering cone. You see forests, valleys, lakes, and steaming geysers. But all of that sits above an incredibly complex underground system, layers of hot rock, a vast magma chamber, and enormous pockets of superheated water. That heat is what fuels Yellowstone famous geysers and hot springs. It's also what causes small earthquake swarms and ground uplift from time to time. But here's the key point. Active doesn't mean erupting. This constant activity is part of Yellowstone's normal behavior, and scientists have been monitoring it closely for decades. Before we get to the myth-busting, it's important to understand that Yellowstone is not a ticking time bomb with a set schedule. It's a living geological system, and like any living system, it has rhythms, pulses, and changes that can be tracked and studied, debunking the supervolcano myth. For decades, Yellowstone has been portrayed as a ticking doomsday clock. Movies, documentaries, and viral videos often warn that it's overdue for a catastrophic eruption that could wipe out entire continents. It's a scary thought, but it's also deeply misleading. Here's the truth. The last massive Yellowstone eruption happened about 640,000 years ago. Before that, one occurred around 1.3 million years ago, and before that, about 2.1 million years ago. If you do the math, you'll notice there's no fixed interval. The gaps between these events aren't exact, and they vary by hundreds of thousands of years. In other words, volcanoes don't follow human calendars. The idea that Yellowstone is overdue comes from a misunderstanding of its history. It's like saying a slot machine is due to pay out because it hasn't in a while. That's not how the science works. And let's not forget, most of Yellowstone's activity since its last major eruption has been far less dramatic. There have been smaller lava flows and hydrothermal explosions, but nothing on the scale of a so-called super eruption. The reality is, while Yellowstone can produce massive eruptions, the chance of that happening in our lifetime is extremely low, much lower than most people think. What scientists are actually watching While viral videos love to focus on mysterious animal migrations or strange steam vents, the people who actually study Yellowstone rely on hard data, not speculation. At any given moment, Yellowstone is under the watchful eyes of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, a joint effort between the U.S. Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and the National Park Service. Here's what they track 24-7. Earthquakes. Hundreds of small quakes happen here every year. Most are too small to feel, but clusters, called earthquake swarms, can tell scientists if magma or hydrothermal fluids are on the move. Ground deformation. GPS sensors and satellites measure if the ground is rising or sinking. A slow, gentle uplift can be normal. Yellowstone breathes over time, but rapid changes could signal something more serious. Gas emissions. By sampling hot spring steam and soil gases, scientists look for spikes in carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and other volcanic 
organic gases. A sudden change could mean new magma is nearing the surface. The important thing? These indicators tend to shift months or even years before any possible eruption. That means if something big were brewing, scientists would likely have plenty of warning, and it wouldn't just be a sudden overnight disaster. In fact, right now, every one of these monitoring tools is showing normal background activity for Yellowstone. No runaway earthquake swarms, no rapid uplift, no unusual gas surges, just the typical breathing of a living but stable volcanic system. Yellowstone's true threat. When people hear the word Yellowstone, their minds jump straight to the word supervolcano. But in reality, the most likely threats here are far less dramatic than a planet-changing eruption. Scientists say that if Yellowstone erupts again in our lifetime, it's far more probable to be a small-scale lava flow or a hydrothermal explosion, not a continent-covering ash cloud. Hydrothermal explosions happen when superheated water trapped underground suddenly flashes into steam. These blasts can fling rocks, carve craters, and damage infrastructure, but they're usually limited to a small area. Imagine something that could close off part of the park or damage nearby buildings, but not send ash halfway around the globe. There's also the chance of a localized ash eruption, similar to events seen in smaller volcanoes worldwide. This could affect air quality in nearby towns, close highways, and briefly disrupt flights in the region but it wouldn't trigger a global catastrophe. And of course, earthquakes remain part of Yellowstone's natural activity. Most are minor, but a strong quake could cause rock slides, damage park facilities, or even set off smaller hydrothermal events. In short, Yellowstone is active, powerful, and unpredictable in small ways, but it's not sitting there like a ticking doomsday clock. The risks are real, but they're regional, not apocalyptic. The balanced takeaway Yellowstone is one of the most geologically active places on Earth. That's what makes it so fascinating and why it's so closely monitored by scientists. The truth is, we should respect its power. The park sits above one of the largest magma systems in the world, but that doesn't mean it's about to wipe out humanity. Hollywood loves to show the instant apocalypse version of Yellowstone, but real science paints a different picture, a complex, living geological system where change is constant, but disaster is rare. Yes, we could see earthquakes. Yes, hydrothermal blasts or small ash eruptions are possible. And yes, scientists will keep a close watch for any unusual patterns. But based on decades of monitoring, there is no evidence Yellowstone is on the verge of a super eruption. In fact, the people who know it best, the volcanologists and geologists who study it every day, say the most likely scenario in our lifetime is nothing dramatic at all. Just the park continuing to do what it's done for hundreds of thousands of years. Breathe, rumble, and amaze us with its raw beauty. So next time you see a headline shouting, Yellowstone is about to blow, you'll know better, because the real story isn't about fear. It's about understanding how this incredible place works, staying prepared for the realistic risks, and appreciating one of the most extraordinary natural wonders on our planet.